Chapter 52 Zedekiah was twenty-one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hamotal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For through the anger of the Lord did it happen in Jerusalem and Judah, until he had cast them out from his presence. Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. It happened in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came, he and all his army, against Jerusalem, and encamped against it, and they built forts against it round about. So the city was besieged to the eleventh year of king Zedekiah. In the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city, so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then a breach was made in the city, and all the men of war fled, and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the gate between the two walls, which was by the king's garden. Now the Chaldeans were against the city round about, and they went toward the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king, and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and all his army was scattered from him. Then they took the king, and carried him up to the king of Babylon, to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he gave judgment on him. The king of Babylon killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He killed also all the princes of Judah in Riblah. He put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and the king of Babylon bound him in fetters, and carried him to Babylon, and put him in prison until the day of his death. Now in the fifth month, in the tenth day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, who stood before the king of Babylon, into Jerusalem. And he burned the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, even every great house he burned with fire. All the army of the Chaldeans who were with the captain of the guard broke down all the walls of Jerusalem round about. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the poorest of the people, and the residue of the people who were left in the city, and those who fell away, who fell to the king of Babylon, and the residue of the multitude. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poorest of the land to be vineyard-keepers and farmers. The pillars of brass that were in the house of the Lord, and the bases, and the brazen sea that were in the house of the Lord, did the Chaldeans break in pieces, and carried all the brass of them to Babylon. The pots also, and the shovels, and the snuffers, and the basins, and the spoons, and all the vessels of brass with which they ministered they took away. The cups, and the firepans, and the basins, and the pots, and the lampstands, and the spoons, and the bowls, that which was of gold, in gold, and that which was of silver, in silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, the one sea, and the twelve brazen bulls that were under the bases, which King Solomon had made for the house of the Lord, the brass of all these vessels was without weight. As for the pillars, the height of the one pillar was eighteen cubits, and a line of twelve cubits did compass it, and the thickness of it was four fingers, it was hollow. A capital of brass was on it, and the height of the one capital was five cubits, with network and pomegranates on the capital round about, all of brass, and the second pillar also had like these in pomegranates. There were ninety-six pomegranates on the sides. All the pomegranates were one hundred on the network round about. The captain of the guard took Sariah the chief priest, and Zephaniah the second priest, and the three keepers of the threshold, and out of the city he took an officer who was set over the men of war, and seven men of those who saw the king's face, who were found in the city, and the scribe of the captain of the host, who mustered the people of the land, and sixty men of the people of the land who were found in the midst of the city. Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, took them, and brought them to the king of Babylon, to Riblah. The king of Babylon struck them, and put them to death at Riblah in the land of Hamath. So Judah was carried away captive out of his land. This is the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried away captive. In the seventh year, three thousand twenty-three Jews. 
In the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, he carried away captive from Jerusalem eight hundred thirty-two people. In the twenty-third year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, the captain of a guard, carried away captive of the Jews seven hundred forty-five people. All the people were four thousand and six hundred. It happened in the thirty-seventh year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the twenty-fifth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings who were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments. Jehoiakim ate bread before him continually all the days of his life, and for his allowance there was a continual allowance given him by the king of Babylon, every day a portion, until the day of his death, all the days of his life.